All right, we are headed to the Crystalline Dominion, the Isles of Ark. For years, Drake's Tale has provided this relatively tiny nation with a wide-reaching influence, rarely afforded nations of the same size. Another Mother Crystal going down, and hopefully it's not boring. Usually the Mother Crystals are exciting, so... The last five hours of this game sucked, though. Like, bad. Minimal redeeming qualities. My son drunk. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. And they're afraid. They turn to drink to forget their fears. And just like the night of Rosalind. to forget. The harbor is empty, and half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. <sighs> a Stolas is the owl thingy, right? I forget. Oh, look at the sweet boy sleeping. Oh, he smells something. What is it, boy? What's that? Is that Bahamut? <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. Toggle! Good doggy. They got a little liquid courage in them, so they should be all right. <sighs> oh shit, we're gonna go on the rooftops? Let's go. Fire in the sky. The wow. Jesus. The Shogun is fine. He'll be making for the square. Look at that. Oh my god. In the middle of town, right? Wow. We're on the rooftops. It's so cool. Playing Assassin's Creed. Those were Imperial Dragoons. What in the hell is going on? Let's go and see. Right. If those are dragoons, then that has to be Dion. But first, we find goats. I just hope he's all right. You there! <sighs> Identify your 
Do we have to? doing so much more damage. Alive? Oh, just die, please. There's no doubt about it. They're dragoons. They what sure are dragoons. A civil war. Final Fantasy IV thuggin. <sighs> Never thought I'd be glad to fall into a sewer. Someone's yeah, right. it's a Krabby Patty. I run sewers. Um, usually the most boring part of every single game, except Elden Ring. Oh, actually, it kind of was annoying in Elden Ring too. Resident Evil 2 had cool as well. There it is. The bell tower. Right. Let's go. And we're out of the sewers, so we're fine. <laughs> that was short-lived. Left. Okay, Batman. We're 
Gregor's name Time is to fight. Gregor. Gregor ain't save me now. I love it. Where you going? I probably have like five billion chunks of Y right. Oh right, we can hold more potion, I forgot. Such a cool move. I don't know why I didn't start using this a long time ago. Look at all that collateral damage. Look at these guys. They don't even know what to do. Excalibur is nice. It's a wyvern. He should be dead now. Oh, it's overkill. Got a dragon's talon. Why, Grieger? Where to? We'll have to find a way around. Damn it. Torgle, what are you doing? Oh. Uh, can we like climb up here or something? Here we go.
know where I am. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go up. We're gonna see Bahamut. We're coming. We have to make friends with Dion. He's a good guy. He's not doing this on his own will. We have to see. Ooh, we max out potions. Nice. With our new upgraded bag. In the prince's name. Another dragon lancer. Chill. You know what I mean? I was honestly trying to parry. Oh, come on. Get him. Nice. Wow, he could just jump right out of that attack. He's almost staggered though. Well, I missed him. Is it? Oh, oh well, he was dead already. <laughs> uh, was there something over here? No. Nothing in the little nook. Ooh, we got framey. Are we going backwards? Mm. <laughs> There's a possibility. This looks familiar to one of the other castles we infiltrated. The one at Drake's Fang? The Red Mother Crystal? That was Fang, right? Was it Fang? Or Breath? I don't fucking know. The red one with the cultists. You know what I'm talking about. I just went in a circle, didn't I? I love that for me. Guess I'll be going this way. I mean, we got a treasure out of it, I suppose. I feel like this is going backwards, though. Is it not? Yeah, this is where we, we killed all these dudes, I think. Oh, I can't. 
This is where we came from. That just what led us to circle around. So this said okay, right. This is where it said we need to find another way around. Right, right, right. So this is, this should be the right way. The heck? Okay, let's keep going up. I think that's, I think I went through the door maybe or something. And that's what, that moved me back around in a circle. Or maybe this is the way that moved me back around. This was the nook that I was talking about. We fought a dragoon here. Dragoon Lancer. Now we go through here. Okay. Whew. Crisis averted. Okay, right? There was nothing here. We went straight. Okay, now we're back on track. Enemies on the ramparts! Kill them! Don't worry about it. Can you see him anywhere? Oh no, there he goes. Wow. Damn. Oh, boss music. I feel like I haven't heard this music in a long time. Oh, look at him. It must be one of the Dragoon's pets. White dragon, white dragon. Okay. All right. Relax, please. Huh. Oh. Ow. That hurt. You need to get staggered. Ow. Ow, 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 ow,
Oh my god, god what's he doing? Get ready to move. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Oh god, sweet icicle lasers. Too slow. Nice try. Hey, <laughs> you missed me, bitch. Never mind. Ooh. Jesus. Come on, ice girl. She ate that, though. <laughs> ice cream face down. That should hit. That does good stagger damage. God, these balls of doom. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, damn. Who moves, bro? Shit. Oh, I just dodged like 50 times. Bahamut, please. I mean, not Bahamut. White dragon. Every, every dragon's a Bahamut for me right now. Yo, he, he just had like a 20,000 hit combo. Come on. No, 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 Perfect timing. Huh, 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 dragon dance, no! No, 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 no. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, shit, shit, shit. God damn, he's throwing every laser at me! I gotta use a high potion! Take that. So I'm right in the ass. Again in the ass. Yeah. Dragon butt. Dragon booty. Yes. Felt good to finally fight a boss and hear that beautiful music again. It's been so long. I've been so deprived. Goddamn fetch quest. It was a beautiful 
dragon. Gorgeous. We did it, Jill. Uh, over here, Clive! Goat, you're He's here! Right. Goat, there you are. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. There's always a dragon, Goats. Uh, all right. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh no. What now? Is that Bahamut? Mother Crystal's heart. Already? Is someone else trying to destroy it? What's it doing up there? <gasps> oh. Bahamut. Dion, what are you doing? Is he gonna destroy it? Is trying to destroy it. Who put that barrier there? Is that Joshua? Oh my god. It's taking his his power. Is Ultima in there? I'm so confused. So, uh, what do we do now then? We destroy the heart. We might come back. True. As soon as the flames die down. The Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And Bahamut has gone for now. You should get as far away as you can, Goots. What? A new view slot in the ledge? I can't do that. If you're staying, then so am I. I, I don't want you I, to I, get I, hurt. Everything up before I made a run for it, so if there's out you need, just ask. I won't be giving it away for free. None would never forgive us if I did. <laughs> Thank you, good. So he's like our little like mobile merchant. Well, let's see what he has. Why not? Just let me get me stuff out. What's the difference? Let me show you me wares. 
Is this going to be that crazy of a fight? Uh, um. I mean, I'll buy like one of these maybe. Thank you. Is there how else you need? How else What's I this? can do for you? Ah. He's also a blacksmith, sort of. Well, there's nothing good for me. Is all done then? No. I guess. All right. Um, let's talk to Torgo because we can. You be brave now, boy. You good, brave baby. Okay. Drake's tail is right there, Clive. It's time to free Storm from the Crystal's curse. Oh, it's past time. But remember, Bahamut is still out there. And I dare say we'll be seeing him again before the night is done. Hopefully, he has control over himself. <laughs> no right. more roads. We'll have to find our own path. I Do wonder... That, what? Ether. Oh, we're gonna fight some Akeshik? Just what we need. Yep. Another flood. A Keshik Dragoons. Then there's no reason to hold back. damage oh boy is this the end? So much damage. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh 
Oh wow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Please relax. Perfect timing. There must be a way to I love when I finish with a big punch. Okay, I always get disoriented after I battle. I think I have to go up that thing. Let's see if there's any chests. Wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Oh yeah, I should probably equip um, the lightning abilities at some point. Uh, though I'm not sure it would affect Bahamut, so maybe it's better that we don't. Although elements don't really play a huge part. Oh! <gasps> he did turn into the phoenix. Is that the phoenix? Joshua. What is he doing? Keeping the Hamid occupied. Yeah, Dion must Joshua! have lost control. Joshua! Too dangerous. Fuck. Hold on, Joshua. I'm coming. Oh man. We have to save him. And we will. We just need to keep moving. Up. Oh. Not again. Not now. <laughs> Not now. I don't got time for you, hoes. Just like he did. Joshua! They're heading for the heart. And so I mean, we. what are what is the goal here, though? Like, why are they headed to the heart? Oh, please stop. Get rid of all three of them. Nice. Beautiful. I love that. Probably the coolest move in this game so far. Alright. Uh, this way.
15. Perfect opportunity to hit your booty. still alive. Okay, now which way? Up here? I hope I'm not going backwards. Nah, we good, we good, we good. Are those the council chambers? How are they still standing? I don't know. Oh boy. <sighs> He'll be all right, Clive. He's a survivor. He's a survivor. We're getting close. Uh oh. <gasps> Ultima. What the heck? Why does he look like that? It looks like somebody doesn't want us getting any closer. I don't care what it wants. <laughs> Neither do I. What? What? Necrophobe. The cool music is here. The same one when we fought Ultima, right? Is he the one that absorbed the power of Bahamut? Is that why he's like this? I can't even honestly I can't even see what's happening. <laughs> oh he got staggered, that's what's fucking happening. <laughs> Let's get Ember here to bring Oh, let me stop talking shit. Im elemental dissonance. What the fuck is he doing? Alright, I dodge it. That's all that matters. Firaga booty. Oh, shit. Was Zaga too? What's next? Windaga? I mean. You barely tickling me, bruh. <laughs> Get hot. Fire versus fire. No! 
No, puppy. Not today. Sorry. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Oh, we gotta get him. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Can I, can I do this? Can this help? Oh, jeez, please. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, hurry. One, one last. Go. Oh. This is crazy. Nice parry. Totally did that by accident. I mean, it was on purpose. Beautiful timing on that. Beautiful, beautiful. Get that stagger damage. Oh, oh, oh. Did I hit him? Enfuraga? What do you think? Embolizaga? Who the fuck does he think he is? Dual cast! Wake up, Quinn! Ehale! He's getting really fast. Fast no more. He's almost done. One more. Yes. That was fun. Two cool battles. The white dragon and the necrophobe. We even fought a undertaker, which I always like fighting things. Wow, he looks cool. He looks like Crota. These beasts, they're getting stronger. We can think about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on. The heart. Okay. I feel like something crazy is about to happen. We might be able to get up through the building. It's worth a try. Uh, what? Oh. Quiet. There's someone up there. There's someone there! This bitch. Mother. 
Mother. It's you. What happened here? He, he tried to take him from me. Liar. Don't believe oh, her. Boy. My darling. Darling boy. Is this the child you made with the Emperor? Why, Mother? Why did you betray us all? You have She's no a bitch. right! That's right, Jill. Stand up for your man. Him. We took you in, Savage. Show some respect for those who raised you. Call her a savage? Oh, I've been waiting for this bitch to die for the longest time. Honorable Elwyn. Always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. That's right. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty. The noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek, that I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. Ew, you're disgusting. You sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring. And yet you failed to awaken. You guys see me now, Ma. But Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength. Oh. What a bitch. How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine. And my own, not long for this world. The shame of it. The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. How could you ever know how that feels? Oh, so he's... That's not it really... It should have been you. Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment. We spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate. Wow. Joshua. My darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? Wow. What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here. The Phoenix lives on. He's battling Bahamut as we speak. <gasps> That woman is detestable. <laughs> oh, what? Joshua destroyed Bahamut? Joshua! Wake up! <laughs> no, he didn't. I'm a shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are you... Are we gonna transform? Joshua. 
trade up the mother crystal. Auto Superman Punch Bahamut. Wow. Fuck. I love when he says that. Damn, please. You're the one of the good ones. Snap out of it. I don't want to kill him. Oh my god, look at that. It's gorgeous. like the flower. The flower that Dion holds. I guess we're fighting him. Oh shit. <laughs> We gotta do this right now. Spit Flare. Clive has learned the ability Split Flare from Bahama. Press R2 and Triangle to release a massive stream of light that tears anything in its path. Use L to aim. You can press X to cancel the attack at any time. Spit Flare 2. Extended exposure to the flare will cause enemies to become partially staggers, canceling any abilities, initiated abilities, maintaining the flare for its maximum duration. Meanwhile, will result in enhanced finishing school. Oh my god, I can't wait to do this. I gotta do this right now. Right. Now. Nice Joshua. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro.
<laughs> can I do split flare again? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Keep doing it. Yes. Beautiful. Ah, spirit bomb. Yes, perfect. Perfect. What are you doing? Oh no. Another mega flare? Uh oh. No, Joshua, no. Giga flare! Oh god. Did he just destroy the heart? <laughs> cool. Alright, so controls for the Phoenix again. We got fire for triangle, hold down triangle for charge fireball, and L R R1 to evade. L while holding circle to lock onto multiple targets, release circle to launch a volley of fireballs. The abilities available while embodying the Phoenix can be confirmed on the ability tab. Oh man. So we got triangle and circle, okay. Nice. Oh no! Oh! Oh! This is where we should use the multiple target thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god. Okay, we fucked up. It's alright, next time we know. Oh no, not Mega Flare! Ow! Jesus! That's how we use it. Excellent. Oh no, I still need to destroy one. Ooh, they're kind of tanky. Oh, oh. Okay. I'll, um, oh, oh. Oh, ooh. Nice. This music's so good. <laughs> Where are you going? What? We're in space? No.
Grace thinks you're so tank. Jesus. <laughs> It's almost done. Beautiful. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my God. Alright, let's just... I didn't do it in time. Oh, man. Okay, good. It starts from here. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, let's get good. Quick, quick, quick. Quick. They started us from right here. Damn, bro. It's so quick. What's a better strategy? Like, God damn. What if I focus fire like that? Oh, that's actually better. Yo, fuck yeah. Why didn't I think of this before? At least it'll, like, it'll lessen the flow a little bit, right? Yeah, this is much better. Oh, yeah. enough. Alright, alright. It's okay, it's okay. We're almost done. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yes! Alright. I just had to do the other move. I like how all of the boss battles are so different. Oh no, he's using vision. If 
Frit, hurry! Good fires here. Let's go. Ooh, ooh. Oh. oh, Jesus. Okay, maybe not right now. Bahamut's almost done. Good job, Joshua. Bear Bob? Beautiful. Oh, come on, Dion. I don't want you to die. Also, I kind of want your power, though. Josh, you want to use your thing? Spitfire, he should be done. Yes! He probably has another phase. Oh, look at us, brothers in arms!
ship Ahma is so done right now. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> that was so fun. I don't think it was as epic as the Titan fight, but that was still pretty cool. It was very pretty. What now? What now? <laughs> right? This is drinking the ether. Oh, he's we beginning to, to become him. a Keshik. No, Dion, come on. Oh, damn. Oh, it's too late. Oh, jeez. Embodying Ifrit Ryzen. Enhanced versions of Ifrit's ability are available to use as Ifrit Ryzen. Lightspeed. In addition to Wildfire, Ifrit Ryzen also has access to ability Lightspeed, which similar to Phoenix Shift allows for swift approach to a target. Lightspeed can be executed by pressing X. All available abilities while okay. How can we hope to match such power? I trust in what the hell? <laughs> this is crazy. Supernova? Oh no.
Ellie's face. Mega Blast with fire. Oh, no, are we, are we missing him? Oh, we're so far away. That was bad. Let's go fly. <laughs> I tried to do it at the same time. Start with spear bomb and then spin. Beautiful, that's how we do it. Nice, good damage. So that move if I need to.
close. Oh no, oh not radiance. Damn it. Alright, Spitfire's on two. We gotta make sure we get it though. Now. Shit. Oh, he got me good. Nice. Damn, look at all that damage. Oh! Man, the whole game should have just been all these boss fights. And that's it. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. Sorry, I hit that. Wow, that was gorgeous. That was absolutely beautiful. Oh, dear. Is that the mother? The heart? Joshua wants to save him, I think. Dion! Aww. His boyfriend's gonna be so heartbroken. Is our mom watching all this shit? Oh, she was watching this shit. Look at us now, Mom. Joshua! We're Clive! Hug! Hug! Yeah! My brother. I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. Aww. I never dared hope that I would see this day. Jill. Aww. 
Did he throw it at the kid? Oh shit. <laughs> they killed the kid. the crystal it's collapsing right we need to leave no wait are you gonna take him i owe him a debt fine oh I don't think it's ever hurt him that much. You then. We just bring down the world section. A little as you join. Take the questions, Jim. Don't reinforce the world. We may not be a surround situation. Report, Captain. There can nothing be done to call them off. I regret not, your readiness. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is thus the Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Wow. Don't dally, man! Go! Your readiness. I want you to find out if the Dalmex move like this. Oh, by the light! Dion, have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the Dragoons at once! Fear not. The populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, father. Oh Safe. my god, what's happening? The creeping darkness hides in the heart of Sanbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. Not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. I guess this is what happened before. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power! What? Dion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him! This is when he probably transformed. 
For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? He did that to make As a the point. the crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Facts. Dion, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? Yes. You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. <gasps> wow, he stepped in front of it. Why is she acting like she cares? Gods! Gods! Father. Poor father. How he doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Wow. Go, Bahamut. Kin Slayer. <laughs> While he was trying to do the right thing. That kid's a dick. Not again. Brother? It's a long story. You cannot stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. Wow. Get away from me! What the fuck? This is all just a dream, just a bad dream! You will not take me, Shadow! You will not take me! Oh, fuck. Dong, the witch is dead, the witch is dead, the witch is dead. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh. 
Oh god, this is dramatic. If it is consciousness that weaves your wills together, consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others, then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed and humanity return to its proper place. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. What is this guy's goal? Twin flames. Relax, your majesty. Who's this? Sometime later? Wait, what? I'm so confused. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. If that is your wish. Men, you are as meek as all the others. Such feeble creatures. Is this Ultima? Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile wills with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork. Of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, okay. their flame burned bright. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Is he trying to become the vessel Not before at the point? bonds are severed of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. So Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you, find Muthos and sever everyone. To destroy that which has no physical form, you ask the impossible. There Josh? is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos. And bring forth so he's gonna world. sacrifice himself to give life so long the as power our of Odin remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. Why? Why are you doing this? Barnabas, right? Who's that? She kind of looks like Jill. Oh, that's his mom? Why would you see your mom naked? That's weird. <laughs> that's so fucking weird. I don't understand why Barnabas wants to join Ultima in making sure that Clive gets all of the icon powers right so that he could become the perfect being 
That would mean he gets Odin's powers and the Phoenix's power and potentially Shiva's power, maybe? Because we know that Barnabas was using Benedetta to get all of the icons together. Was it for Ultima? Ultimately? I just don't understand the goal. How is your brother? Asleep since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, Another rises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. I'm sure we got a lot of reading to do. <laughs> Things fall apart. The power of light. Clypheus can be a portion of the icon Bahamut's essence. Attuning with Bahamut not only changes the elemental aspect of Clypheus' magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Impulse, which creates multiple spheres of light that pursue a target, dealing it continuous damage. But, okay. Bahamut's feet use Bahamut's icon feet wings of light to begin casting mega flare an immensely powerful spell that showers enemies with a deluge of searing light the longer the spell is charged the more powerful the results press circle to cast the spell when ready take it damage will ca uh, while casting will cancel the spell Tony won't be happy if i disturb joshua while he rests i might as well see what otter has to say okay um let's go to our abilities first Equip something new. I'm gonna switch out uh, this uh, here with Bahamut. Um, abilities. Yes. All right. Let's start here. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna see this at its max power. Also, let's check out these two. And then... Uh, let's do this. Two. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll go here. Oh, swift recovery. I really like. Okay. All right. Let's see how that does us. Uh, This one and this one, right? I think for Scarlet Cyclone. Uh, 
Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. All right, this should be good. Let's see how this does us. Uh, optimize gear. Okay. About the other day, this is from Otto. I'll have you know, I ain't never shed a tear in front of no one, not even my mother, and you won't soon catch me doing like the like this, doing the like again. So if it please, please your lordship, we can both forget about the whole damn thing. The Sid I chose to follow all them years ago is gone, and there ain't no dragging him back from the depths or whatever hell he's taken his way into. And his legacy that lives on in you and everyone else is here at the hideaway. Sure as the sky is blue, at least I think it's blue. But as long as it is, I'll be right here where you can count on me. Aww. This is from... Reports from our brothers and sisters afield are all the same. These accursed skies cast not only a pall over the land, but over the hearts of her people. Hearts already heavy from the fall of the Dominion and the destruction of the storm's final mother crystal. For now the realm endures, but with each new flood do her few remaining children descend further into madness. The situation is as ever dire. Fresh wings shall found you on the moon's turning. Until then, our watch continues. May the crystal's curse be broken. Quite the mess. This is from Theodore. Uh, word out of Twin Side is that there is little left of the capital after the Mad Prince Royal's tantrum. But what of you and yours? Did you manage to escape before the city went tits up? I trust you did. But a stolus might be good to set El's mind at ease. Did you see the pair that got? Let's see what's new here. To what do I owe the honor? Ask about the skies. Friend about us, guys. Won't help me get any work done, so I'm going to keep my forge and leave saving the world for those better suitors at the task. Is. They fancy giving me a hand chewing the birds. So, would it be? Oh boy. It's really not that much better, though. Like, from 268 to 270 is really nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. I don't know if I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? Still alive, are ya? <laughs> I hope you're not expecting me to explain these guys. If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say they were the end of the world. The whole realm's in chaos. I've had orders cancelled me on me left and right, and that's from the few associates I haven't lost contact with. As the old saying goes. There's opportunity and adversity. The market for sharp steel is more bullish than ever. I'll find a way to keep the place fed and watered. Don't you worry. I won't let our little family go hungry, whatever the weather. That's great. Going purse weighing you down. Finished, are you? Seems what the the do we have? Go read since we're here. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, yeah, it's outside. Is a storm coming soon? <sighs> we have a lot to, to read, you, my I'm friend. sure. With the darkening skies. Fear has once again taken hold of our hearts, and though I have not the power to dispel the gloom above, I shall like to believe my tales help to lighten but it be below. That as it may. Turning our eyes from the problems which face us will not help solve them. A mere tale cannot lighten the burden of those who must bear the weight of the world. I have a few new notes that might interest you. Mm. 
If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Joshua Rosefield, dominant of the Phoenix and former heir to the Ducal throne. Though he and Clive trod their separate paths for many years, the brothers were finally reunited amid the ruins of Crystallian Dominion. Dion, holy pr prince of holy empire of Sembrek and dominant of Bahamut, Dion led his dragoons in revolt against the perceived treason of Empress Annabella and the, her son Alavier, but was instead goaded to, into slaying his own father and driven into madness, transforming into Bahamut and laying waste to much of the Dominion. Goats, apprentice of Karen, an ally of the hideaway, he aided Clive and Joe in gaining entry to the besieged Crystalline Dominion by having them pose as sellsword hired to protect an honest merchant visiting Twinside to trade in smithing paraphernalia. Somehow surviving the chaos that was Apollo, he was scooped up from the ruined city by Joshua, who transformed into the Phoenix to effect his allies' escape. Hansa, the orphan boy of Boglad, strong-armed into pickpocketing travelers by the nefarious cast stones. After being released from their clutches, Elios elected to employ him at the Crimson Caverns caravans to keep him from returning to a life of crime. He pledges to become the first customer of Goats' Forge when the trader becomes a full-fledged blacksmith. Oops. Sorry. Ugh. Former Holy Empire of Sembrek, and after the fall of Rosaria and the death of Archduke Elwin, she remarried so em Emperor Sylvester and bore him a son, Olivier. It was her dream that together with Sylvester, she should found a new bloodline, one blessed with both Bahama and the Phoenix. Alas, her dreams were to be crushed in the wreckage of the Crystallian Dominion when a maddened Dion slew Olivier, and she was to end her life before the disbelieving eyes of the son she had betrayed. Sylvester Lesage, Emperor of the Holy Empire of Sembrek, who plotted with Annabella Rosefield to slay Archduke Elwin of Rosaria and unite their nations under the imperial banner. Together they bore a son, Olivier, to whom Sylvester has be gold into forfeiting his throne. Much to, uh, to his first son's displeasure, Sylvester lost his life to Dion's spear when he leapt to Olivier's defense in the throne room of the Twinside capital. Olivier Lesage Son of Sylvester and Annabella Le Siege, thanks to a large part of the mother's machinations, Olivier was anointed Emperor of the Holy Empire of Sembrek, a fact that triggered his half-brother Dion to launch a coup against him. It was Olivier's sinister goading that drove Dion to madness and led to his own demise. Perceived through the heart by Dion's spear, as the boy died, his body crumbled into dust, proof that he had become not but another puppet of Ultima, right? That's why it looked like that. Barnabas's mother... <laughs> She's naked there too. The mother of King Barnabas of Valoid, or at least as Ultima summoned illusion as her as his majesty remembers her in life. So maybe Ultima's just using his mother the mother's image to convince him to do this for him. That just makes him seem pretty weak. She looks like Jill a little bit, honestly. Ultima, the otherworldly being behind much of the tragedy and turmoil that has plagued Valisthea, he means to claim Clive as his vessel, Mythos, by purging his will, a will strengthened by the tides of the consciousness that by binds Clive to, with others. He unleashes primal genesis upon the world, shrouding it into darkness and turning thousands of Keshik, that these ties of consciousness might be less, might at last be loosened. I don't even know what that means. Barnabas the Mayor. King of Aloyd and Dominant of Odin, the Warden of Darkness. Though his nation's isolation in Ash allows Barnabas to remain aloof from the affairs of the storm, and he has oft elected to do precisely that, his movements of late would suggest that he has ambitions on the Western continent. Okay. The Holy Knights of Dragoon. The Holy Knights Dragoon. Elite troops of the Holy Empire of Sembrek, led by Prince Dion Le Sage, drawn largely from the nobility of the realm, their status as knights of the sacred dragon affords them still higher standing in the eyes of the people. In the Battle of the Borderlands in 873, as so many conflicts down the years, they proudly led the charge as the empire entered the fray. However, Prince Dion's opposition to the machinations of the Holy Empress Annabella spurred the dragoons to rise up against their emperor in an insurgency which saw them fall suddenly and decisively from grace. 
Rise of the Worm, a rebellion of the Holy Order of the Knights Dragoons that took place in the Crystallian Dominion. It was provoked by Emperor Sylvester Lesiege's decision to overlook his eldest son, Dion, and make his second-born Olivier, child of Empress Annabella, crown prince in his place. Seeing this as yet another victory for Annabella in her long campaign to subvert San Bercoy politics for her own ends, Prince Dion ordered the dragoons into actions, but having lost control of his icon, he had inadvertently laid waste to the city he tried to save. Poor Dion. The Crisillia Dominion, a once independent state st straddling the continents of Storm and Ash, with the incursion of the Holy Empire of Simbrek in the year 873, its independence was reduced a little more than a pretense, but things changed once again in 878 when Prince Dion Le Siege and his dragoons instigated a bloody coup. As imperial institutions fell into disarray, so did the situation in the Dominion and beyond. After five years, Sembrakoi dominance in the region ended as quickly as it had begun. Drake's Tale, a mother crystal that was located in the Crystalline Dominion, it was one of only five remaining in Ballistea and the largest of its kind. It was lost in the chaos that followed the rebellion spearheaded by Prince Dion Le Siege and his Knight's Dragoon, but not before undergoing a fantastical transformation heretofore unwitnessed in the entirety of Ballistean history, a literal blossoming of the crystal, its shards peeling away like petals of a snow daisy to reveal the sacred heart within. The fall of Drake's Tale in 878, the insurgency led by Simbrek's Knight's Dragoon, led by Prince Dion Le Siege, resulted in the destruction of much of the Crystallian's dominion capital and the mother crystal Drake's tail along with it after the prince lost control of his icon Bahamut. One curious thing to note is that many who survived the night of chaos claim they witnessed the crystal bloom like a flower before its demise. The Crystal Flower When Drake's tail came under attack by a maddened Bahamut, the heart of the mother crystal was spotted by delving into its attacker's innermost thoughts and summoning into creation that which most plagued his tortured soul, the wyvern tail that represented the trust Dion, Princess Dion's father placed on him as his duty in the realm. Okay. Oh. Primogenesis, a spell cast by Ultima that casts a rolling pall over all of Alistea. DM. Okay. We have the Phoenix, a warden of fighter whose strength resides within Joshua Roseville. 18 years after the imperial invasion of Phoenix Gate and Joshua's presumed demise, the Phoenix spread its wings once more in the skies above the Crystallia Dominion, wings in which reside the flames of rebirth. If arisen, the two icons of fire united as one. Clive and Joshua manifested this being in the skies above the Crystallian Dominion after entreating their icons to grant them the power they needed to quell the raging Bahamut. In, it has the body of Ifrit, the wings of the phoenix, and a might that far exceeds either icon alone. Bahama, a warden of light whose power dwells within Dion the Siege, Prince of Simbrek, a tribe known as the Motes of Light once dwelled in the northeast reaches of Storm, where the great city of Oriflame now stands, among which the dominant of Bahama would always emerge. In modern times, dominants are most often born among the Sembrakoi nobility, most likely because the tribe's bloodlines still run strong in their ranks. Wow. Who else? What else? Dragons. Majestic winged beasts that are commonly considered to be some of Alistair's most ancient creatures. Albeit rarely sighted in modern times, there are countless myths and legends regarding dragons, one of the most prominent being that of Alistair itself, who was formed when the mighty Drake fell from the sky. According to the Gregorian faith, dragons were created by the goddess herself to serve as holy sentinels over her earthly demons, and as such have long been employed by the Holy Empire of Simbrek in various martial roles within and without the Imperial Legion. Wow, we caught up quicker than I thought. You're always welcome, Clive. I'm proud of us. All right, so now is a storm coming soon. I have a better understanding of everything, more or less, except Ultima. Ultima's ultimate goal, and also King Barnabas. Like, why is he just being tricked into thinking that? it's his mom? Tell me you saw that. Uh, we got new hunts. Alright. Oh, another S-Class one. God damn. Ruin reawakened. Semrakor legend tells of a dread dragon who sits near half of the realm, alight with his torrid breath 
after being sealed away behind the magical mist by Gregor herself. Some sources claim, though it has long been forgotten, which parts of the tale are true and which are a myth, recent reports of a great dragon's roar reverberating around the woodland passes of the Empire are real enough. Alright, let's write this shit down. I didn't realize I had another pen in here. Awakened. This is S class. And I'm guessing this is in Sembrek. Probably going to do those either right before we end the game or... Oh, sorry, there's more. Or like after. <laughs> Oops, I didn't realize there was like two more. So that was an S class. This is a B class. We could take care of these guys next time. So this is the Ten of Clubs in Vamar Dalmachia. Uh, merchants who plied their trade across the fields of Korava tell of an outlaw five and twenty hands high and mighty of Fu who preys upon unescorted travelers. They claim he lives alone in one of the many abandoned villages that litter their region, but none has been brave nor foolish enough to narrow the search any further. If you who read this have either or both of those qualities, the Dalmakians beg your aid. And then there's this one, an A class, the Magith Brothers. This is in Quiet Sands, Rosaria. Uh, a lone rowing boat that has, oh, I gotta fight a boat, what? That has been sighted uh, making land off the coast of Port Isold. Its occupants wearing the garb and speaking the language of the Iron Kingdom Crusaders. One can only assume that they come into their vengeance upon to the outlaw for destroying that which they hold most dear. We devise against all travel in the area, lest they think to kill or capture our members in retaliation. Okay. Yes. Are you making those skies, then? What will it be today? How may I help you today? Okay, the end of Drake's Tale. In the course of Bahamut's rampage in the skies above the Crystallian Dominion, Drake's Tale is destroyed at much of the city state and one time holy capital reduced to rubble. Now just a single malt, the crystal remains standing in Valisthea. Drake's spine far away in the wild waste of ash. All right. Damn, look at all these dead dudes. Hmm. Study it well, Clyde. Clive and Joshua are finally reunited in the Twin Side Council chambers, and their icons unite as one of the skies above it. The single supremely powerful entity they become, if it rising, is at last able to best Bahamut, the Mother Crystal, cracking in the process. Very good. All right. Um, let's talk to Otto. Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fat storms out Mother Crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. Cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the Free Cities, helping Mid with her project. Sent an owl their way the moment the winds turned foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just a messenger. I'll leave the scheme to those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could I be that they them. don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. I was just there. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. 
They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, Sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. And yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. Oh, shit. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. Damn. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Yep. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. Damn, look at everything. It's so great. There's talk of these skies driving men mad. Look at that. It's kind of cool from the hideaway seeing how the skies have changed, I'm not gonna lie. guess. You're here about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious, as for what has disturbed the heavens. That, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? But Ultima was one of the gods responsible. Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. <laughs> <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, 
I fear of all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Especially the one that helped Torgal eat. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. I wish these three people were closer together since I always have to talk to them. What do you have to say? Dish is a masterpiece. I should listen to these people. There's barely been a shipment in since the sky started boiling. All right, after we talk to Otto, we should be good. Claude, Probably more side quests unlock. Only one. That would be a first. It would. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cashier at her gates and oh, talk of monsters fuck. roaming the not hills Martha. outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. Oh, not and Isabel. Don't forget Dallamil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains, it fucking pours. <laughs> Curse breakers are spread thin taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means, there's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. There's only three more icons left. Me, Jill, well, four, Josh, and... Odin. How are you King doing? Barnabas. I don't mean to be gloomy. But the whole world's gone to shit. Reports used to be about troop movements and chances to set bears free. Now it's all Aether floods, Akeshic attacks, and plagues of bloody bandits. The curse breakers and all other allies are doing what they can to keep their heads above water. They need all the help they can get. They're counting on you, Clive. We all are. Quick look. Alright, well this is part of the main mission. So we will do that next episode. What is that? What? Oh god, this more? Clive. It's not mainly the men and women of Alste who have been affected by the imbalance of the Aether. These blackened skies have cast a pall over the creatures of and the And how could it not? They are just living beings as we are, alas, their instincts to drive them to flee from that which cannot be escaped, ushering them only to madness but and death. But are we any better? We consider ourselves above such basic instincts, and yet fear and bewilderment drive us to make war on our fellow man, to turn our ire at our own suffering upon those who suffer just as keenly as we do. And that is what it means to be human, Clive. I wonder if we are even worth saving at all. I cannot claim to have been shocked to learn of Twin Sides' destruction. Indeed, I have long known that such a fate was all but guaranteed. Peace of parchment was all that ever stood between the Dominion and Chaos, and those who signed the treaty were only going to abide by it for as long as it suited them. And Burst of Oster's invasion saw it torn to shreds at last, and as the pieces scattered to the winds, long festering enmities came to the fore once more. Such are the wages. Uh, of greed and distress, it's if those in power pay head to their whispers, they are like to grow into a mighty storm, one which the walls of even the stoutest to the dull with might not withstand. Ironic, then. It should be Prince Dion, the boldest, most trustworthy player in this ignoble game, who should deal the finishing blow. Mm. How may I help you today? Right. Of course. The dark clouds gather, a roiling storm sweeps over Valisthea, bringing terror and confusion in its wake, and so too will Lloyd King Barnabas sailing his kingdom's flagship, the Enhejar, across the strait, seizing upon the chaos that has plagued the storm since the destruction of his mother Chrysalis and the disintegration of the nation's leadership. Study it well, Clive. 
Clive returns to the hideaway but has little time to rest and recover from his exploits in Twinside after the skies over Valsaya dark and chaos has swept over much of the realm and his allies need his aid. The state yep. of the realm is ever-changing, Clive. So the next time we play, we will save Martha and Isabel and our other allies. Um, what level are we? 35? 36. Cool. Excellent. And we have five icon powers. I fear that the next one we're getting... Well, maybe the next one is Odin? And then maybe we'll get Shiva's because... Oh no. We're not. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're... I mean, we, we're already the icon of fire, so we don't really need Joshua's. But yeah, that was a great one, finally. Um, yeah. It's basically four hours of bullshit and then two hours of greatness. So glad we got two hours of greatness. I'm really sad about Dion. What happened to him was really tragic. I feel like Princess Annabella, just Queen Annabella, whatever the fuck she is, just ruined everything. And of course, she would kill herself because, like, how could you live with yourself knowing everything you did to your own family and your own country and literally everything? Um, and yeah, that was a really beautiful fight against Bahamut. And uh, yeah, now now I want to see what, what King Barnabas' goal is and ultimately Ultima's goal. Um, how is he going to try and achieve? Is he going to kill everyone we love? Like, I can't think of anything else. He's going to try and make Clive go mad. And I think the quickest way to that is to get rid of Joshua. And I think he knows that. He said to sever that bond. So, oof. We'll see. 